Welcome to Sailing Buena Isla. We're sailboat liveaboards, living the minimalistic lifestyle while traveling to new places by water. Come and join the adventure. This is our bedding. Um, this is the laundry we're gonna do today, and also what's in here. What are we doing? <laughs> we're doing the laundry today. It's laundry day. Laundry day. And uh, yeah, so we're just taking it with us. We're going to work, and then after, uh, just wash the laundry well we'll take you to the laundry mat here in Suka and we'll show you how we do laundry on a sailboat yeah like we we've done the laundry out on our boat but the thing is it's too cold outside and the water's too cold so we do it in the summer sometimes and then we'll let it dry outside right yeah but in the winter it will never dry yeah. like it would, it would actually turn into a crystal because it's so humid pretty much so we bring this little barrel and uh, we fill it up and then we take it to the laundry mat usually like once a month because yep. we have enough clothes and stuff for once a month but yeah, I mean, we could probably change our bed sheets more often, but we have other pillowcases too. So, oh my goodness. We're kind of disgusting right now. <laughs> this is a sailing life. <laughs> so, this is the day. It's like 9 a.m. and it's like plus 10. So beautiful. I love the sun on my face. It's nice. I'm just standing here enjoying the view because Christian, he hiked up all the way to our car. It's like a seven minute walk from the marina. It's where we get our exercise. And then he'll bring the car down so that we can load the car with our laundry. Because it's too heavy. I don't want to walk all the way up there. But yeah, these um, barrels come in good hands. Like they're very handy here at the marina. Because then you can carry your groceries, your laundry, or even just like boat equipment without having to like walk all the way down there because our boat's like over there. Birds. There's Christian. Hello. We're just walking down Victoria now before we do the laundry. <laughs> And uh, look at this cool house right here. Yeah, there's some cute, cool, cool houses. Every house here is they got its own character, it's not like the same siding. It's, I really like that. See, over here is different houses. Yeah, we've never been to this area before. No, and what did you find? Um, yeah, so while we were walking, I found this thing. It says it's for free, it's a popcorn machine maker. And <laughs> I just know I'm gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, generally we don't take free stuff, but this we actually need. We need like a popcorn it's, maker. Yeah, it says it works. Yeah, we're walking around and uh, there's another place down there that looks kind of like Europe. So that's why I was drawn to this area. I'll really show you guys cool. when we go back, but there's this really cool little car. I don't know what it is. It, it's either like a little tiny van or a oh, yeah. little tiny pickup truck or something, but... It's very small. I love it. There's a lot of small cars. I've seen small trucks here too. It's funny. Yeah, this is another house. Oh, there's a blue house over there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you the house that I like. It's down there, but we'll have to go back. Oh, look at these trees. It's very weird. Okay, so there's this <clears throat> really interesting thing uh, that Katya really loves to smell. Uh, so see these these bushes right here, this these, bush. these hedges, I guess it reminds her of her country in Denmark. Yes, because in Denmark, these are everywhere and it smells like I just, yeah, so it smells like Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. She likes it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, it's not just any bush. It's <laughs> a Barbara bush. And uh, that's something that we both talk about. Okay, I just want to see if people understand me, but do you see this van right here? Do you guys like this van? Because I love 
this man. <laughs> and, uh, we're living in extraordinary times, people. I oh, no. don't know what it is, but I think this neighborhood just has a lot of charm. Just a this lot of charm. This is a nice charm. tree. Yeah. Okay, people, this is a tree. Um, um, I'm just curious, what do you guys, what does this look like to you guys? Like, what do you guys think this looks like? Um, leave us some comments. <laughs> so something that's really interesting compared to where we're coming from Calgary before a year ago, people don't really cut their grass much out here. Oh, yeah, no. I kind of like it. I like it. Everything's like just like going natural. It's not too perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just a little more natural going. <laughs> like I, the Mediterranean. I get the feeling, you see like like the home across over there? It's very, very natural. Let it go. I like. I get the feeling that um, in Victoria or BC in general, people are just a lot more laid back. Yeah. They're just, they're not so... I don't know. Uh, well, like, look, like, even here, I don't know if you can see, but we got flowers mixed with like weeds and dandelions, but no one's cutting any of it. Just keep it. Okay, well, I hope you guys liked seeing a little bit more of Victoria. And now we're gonna head back to Souk, do our laundry, and go back to the boat. wash for 23 minutes so we'll just hang outside and then we'll come back in and dry them but it's pretty efficient and there's not really a lot of people in here so we like it it costs us about $20 $23 to do all of our loads so that's not that bad so now we're uh, just waiting for the laundry to dry so like about like 45 minutes I think so we're just sitting here by the McDonald's eating a banana and Christian had an orange and uh, getting some vitamin D and that's how we do laundry <laughs> hey guys so uh, now we're just going back to the sailboat and right now you're in our wheelbarrow with all of our laundry and groceries it's about seven o'clock at night sun's starting to go down really beautiful Ooh. What if I just dropped everything into the ocean? That would be so funny. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching how we wash our clothes on a sailboat. Oh, goodbye. Hi. You still there? Okay. And yeah, we'll see you guys on our next sailing video or lifestyle. Gutierrez family style. Peace out. Okay, seagulls literally just went off. Did you see that? Anyways, there are some Canadian geese that just tried to attack me. Um, I have to go now. <laughs> Goodbye. And she's making something. Making dinner. She's making some dinner. Almond milk. I gotta clean our boat this weekend. Clean the boat. So, uh, yeah, lived in. That's barely, she's just waiting for anything to fall down. How many frogs do you actually want to eat? Like, realistically? Just a few. So, can you save some of that? Oh, yeah. Like, that's a lot of. You can save for tomorrow. Probably, seriously. Using weird cook. Like so.
gonna finish what I was doing here while it's cooking. I can send pictures now. Oh wow. So today, this is what we're eating. So today we're having a spinach salad, Look at that. asparagus, wow. quinoa, rothines, pierogies. And he has some broccoli, but I can't have that, so yeah. That quinoa is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, healthy. Okay. Thanks for watching me cook. <laughs> hey. Hey. Say Bailey's name. Bailey. What do you think of the sunset? She likes it, but she's a little scared because she's over the water, see? You scared? Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna do up you. You have to learn to swim eventually. <laughs> it's really nice out here. I think it's gonna rain though on the weekend, but nah. Really nice. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the moon, but it's really beautiful too. I don't know if he'll capture it, but... Beely! Beely, Beely, Beely! Yeah, and you can see the sun. Um, it's setting on the west. And uh, the reflection of the sun is like so nice on the, on the hills over there. Whenever the sun starts to set though, then it's like... Ugh. It starts to get a little colder? Yeah! It the was water's actually, so calm though. Yeah, the water's pretty calm. This is a good sailing day actually. This is how we get off the boat. Ooh. This is the little mat we just got. Yep, just got that mat. That way, like when it's like kind of icy in the mornings, when it was more cold, then we don't slip on the docks. Because there's, there's actually been a few times that I've completely bailed. I've never fallen with Bailey, but I've fallen several times. It's kind of embarrassing. Vandra, the biggest boat at the marina. During the winter storms, Whenever it got really crazy, we would just look at this boat, and if this boat was holding on, then we knew we wouldn't die. <laughs> but if this boat was going to have issues, then we'd be concerned. <laughs> this one has like seven straps down. Like, Pride and joy. Our home. You're cold, baby dog. I like it. Me too. So we're planning to go uh, when it gets even warmer, what we want to do is we want to go by the beach over there, yeah. by the spit, and uh, do some nighttime camping. Well, no, not camping, but anchoring. Anchoring. Anchoring, yeah. Exactly. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah, bird food on our boat. Did it? Well, I'm just saying one, but I can read it. That's sick. It's disgusting, baby. Welcome to our boat. Hey, Bailey. Hello. Oh, she saw a bird. Did she hear something? A bird. She likes to be out here and hanging out. Yeah, she loves to watch everything. Such a nice view, though. That's <gasps> Katya's baby. This is my baby. She has uh, Kristen's eyes. She has your your eyes, but she definitely has my personality. <laughs> He's so cute. Is it cute from this angle? Yeah. You should go lower. Like a baby level. Pretty nice. My assistant is going to be happy with cutting up the footage. She's on. She edits the videos. I shoot the videos. She edits the videos. Yeah, it's teamwork, though, right? Guys. Enjoying the really nice sunset. The sun is just going down now and it's starting to get colder. And I'm feeling very optimistic, very happy and excited because I got this new lens that I just bought with Katya. And um, it was, it's, it's a very expensive lens. So I got one that was used and I found one that's a really good deal. It's half price uh, from a new lens. So I mean, it's it's kind of like my dream lens, and it mm -hmm. goes perfectly with the camera. And uh, yeah, it's gonna help me do a lot of artistic shots, professional video, and uh, one of the last things that I'm now looking for is a better microphone, so that I can get even better audio, and that would help a lot. So cool. Yeah. Okay, now we need some water. 
the water. This is how we drink water.